स्क्रीन आस मैं पूरा बोर्ड टा आस गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एच एस सी क्लास इन नर्सरी कॉलेज टूडे आई एम हेयर अगेन टू कंटिन्यू द डिस्कशन ऑन द रूल्स ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेंटेंस टू अन अदर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई शोड यू हाउ A simple sentence can be transformed into a simple one, a complex one, or compound one. Today, I will discuss how complex and also compound sentences can be transformed into a single one. You know, as I gave you the idea that. A simple sentence means a sentence consisting of only one clause or only one finite verb. While a complex sentence or a compound sentence always has more than one clauses. The difference is that the clauses in the sen sim uh, complex sentences are. Combined by the use of relative pronouns or relative conjunctions, while the clauses in the compound sentences are uh, uh, combined with the use of conjunctions like and, but, or. Let us start looking at how complex sentences. can be transformed into simple one and afterwards i will discuss how the compound sentences can be transformed into simple ones first let us see how complex sentences uh can be transformed into simple one keep patience and look at the white board i will write a, write a number of complex sentences look at the white board i have written two different types of complex sentences one is written with the use of relative pronoun which and the other one is uh with the use of the relative conjunction since in the starting class of this uh, part of transforming of sentences i told you that transforming a sentence from simple to complex or compound means 
increasing the number of process by adding uh, a finite verb in the sentence and transforming a complex or compound sentence into a simple one means decreasing the number of clauses by making a finite verb or often omitting a finite verb uh, by uh, sorry making a finite verb non finitive or even uh, omitting or deleting a finite verb while necessary well when you have a complex sentence in which the clauses are combined with the use of relative conjunction, uh, relative pronoun, relative pronoun I say like who, who, it, what, to, and, and the relative pronoun is followed by uh, a followed by a complement. You just add the complement with the complement or object of the main clause and thus this will be a simple sentence. Uh, for example, look at the first sentence I have written on the board. The first sentence on the board is I bought a book which was there, sorry, I have written which twice, which was read. Here we have used the relative pronoun which to combine the clauses, which is a relative pronoun, therefore the clause following the relative pronoun which was read is the subordinate clause of this sentence. The complement in this clause is read. As I have just told, just add this red with the object of the main uh, object of the finite verb of the main clause, bought. And what will be the picture of this clause? I bought a red book and this is the simple sentence of this complex sentence. I bought a, a, a book which was read. So, let us have a few more sentences like this one. He was a student who is hard working. He was a student who is hard working. Uh, just add the complement of the subordinate clause who is hard working with the complement uh, of the main clause. He was a hard working student and that's all. He was a hard working student. This is the simple form of the complex sentence. He was a student, uh, sorry, who was would be the better one who was hard working. Uh, he was a hard working student is the simple form of the complex sentence. 
he was a student who was hard working. Now, you have to, uh, you have to uh, be careful about the use of the relative pronoun and uh, uh, relative conjunctions as the clause connectors in the complex sentences. For example, in the sentence number 2, we have two clauses, one beginning with since the book was read and the other one is they liked it. Of course, since the first clause in this sentence begins with the clause connector since it is a complex sentence. To make this complex sentence simple, you first need to change uh, the relative conjunction uh, since with a word with a supplementary word for the use in the simple sentence. In a previous class, I showed you in the table that since is alternated in a simple sentence with a pronoun for. No other pronoun or word will be used to replace since in the simple sentence. You will use only for, not because sometimes uh, some people suggest that because of can be used as the replacement or alternation of since, but this is a wrong approach. To replace, to alternate the relative conjunction since, you need to use the preposition for only. For. Now, though the verb is a B verb followed by, the com by a complement, this time because of the presence of since or any relative conjunction, we will make the use of the finite verb of the sub uh, uh, subordinate clause in its present participle form. For being read, for being read, they liked, uh, well this is a complex one, the really a complex one because we have two different subjects for uh, two clauses. The subject of the first clause is the book and the sub. Uh, uh, the subject of the subordinate clause is the book and the subject of the main clause is they. Since we will make the finite verb of the subordinate clause present participle, we need to use the possessive form of the subject of the clause, the subject of the subordinate clause is the book. So, we will use its possessive form for the books being read, they liked it. Not take a note here that when you get two different subjects for two clauses, two different subjects for the subordinate clause and the main clause, you need to use the possessive form of the sub, uh, subject of the subordinate clause when you make the subordinate clauses finite verb non-finite, such as the books being read for the books being read, they liked. But if the subject of both of the, the subjects of both of the clauses are same, you do not need to use any positive like this one for the books being. Let us see another 
example, uh, well, complex sentence. Uh, he comes every day. because he likes us. He comes every day because he likes us. Here we have two clauses in this complex sentence. The main clause is he comes every day and the subordinate clause is because he likes us. The clauses are connected or combined with the use of the uh, relative conjunction because when you make it simple, you do not need to bring any change in the main clause. Look at the previous examples, always the subject and the finite verb of the main clause uh, of the sentences are kept unchanged only the change is made from the or in the subordinate clause. Well, here we have the uh, main clause at the beginning of the complex sentence, we will keep it unchanged or unmodified. He comes every day and to alternate the relative conjunction because in a simple sentence we will use the phrase because of. Always alternate relative conjunction because with the phrase because of. We have the same subjects in both of the clauses. He is the common subject in both of the clauses. Therefore, we do not need to use any possessive before making like a non-finite verb. As we did it in the previous example, we made the subject of the subordinate clause, uh, the book um, uh, possessive when we uh, change the sentence into simple one. But this time, since the subjects of the uh, the subjects of both of the clauses are same, we will not use any possessive before the newly made uh, non-finite verb of the main clause. So we will write simply write because of liking us. we do not need to use any possessive as the subject of both of the clauses is the same one. I will show you another example of this type of transformation. complex I can see this if I get a book.
look the subordinate clause of this sentence is if I get a book. So, we will transform the finite verb of the subordinate clause get into uh, a non-finite uh, non finite one. That is, we will make the verb of this sentence a present participle. Well, all verbs, all finite verbs in the subordinate clause with uh, a relative conjunction or all finite verbs after a relative conjunction, not after a relative pronoun, but after a relative conjunction should be made present participle when you are asked to answer, uh, you are asked to transfer such a complex sentence with a relative conjunction into a simple one. So, we have a relative conjunction here, if uh, if I get a book is the subordinate clause of this sentence, we will change the finite verb of the subordinate clause get into a non-finite one and we will make the sentence simple without making any change in its uh, main clause. I can see this in case of getting in case of getting a book So, the simple form of this sentence, I can see this, if I get a book, I can see this keeping the uh, main clause unchanged, we will give the form of the complex sentence into this one. I can see this in case of, in case of is used to alternate if in the simple sentence and since the subject of both of the clauses are same, uh, we have simply made the uh, uh, finite verb of the subordinate clause non finite. In lieu of get, we have written getting the present participle form. Let us see the last example of this structure of complex sentences for the transformation into simple one. Uh, though He was poor everybody liked him. Yeah, we ha what is the uh, 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 what is the main clause? Everybody liked him is the main clause of this complex sentence and though is the though is the subordinate clause of this sentence. You, you see we have to make was a present participle and thus this sentence will be transformed into a simple one. To make this simple sentence we make this sentence simple, we will alternate the relative conjunction though with in spite of, sometimes though can be alternated by the word despite. Despite is used in the uh, sentences with a negative sense despite and despite is not followed by an of like in spite. So, in spite of he 
and everybody are the two different subjects in the two clauses. Therefore, you need to use the possessive form of he. He is the possessive form of he. He is being poor. In spite of his being poor, everybody liked him. Take a note that uh, when you transform such a complex sentence with a relative conjunction into a simple one, you have to uh, you have first to uh, first you need to change the relative conjunction used in the complex sentence and you will use a new word or phrase particularly a preposition or phrase uh, in the simple sentence to alternate the relative conjunction and then you will make the finite verb of the subordinate clause non-finite. Now, I am going to show you the rules of transformation of another structure of complex sentences. You know, so that and so plus adjective plus that can also be used as the close connectors in the complex sentences. For example, he came here so that he could or would win the bet. Well, this is example number one and example number two of another complex sentence with the similar structure of I give books so that they can read. There is a slide difference, there is a little difference, a small difference between two types of this sentence, two type of the complex sentences. Here we have the, in the first sentence, in the first example sentence, in the first example complex sentence rather, we have he as the subject of the both of the clauses, but in the second example com uh, complex sentence, we have different subjects for different clauses. Well, this is very simple. You simply replace so that with a, the preposition to and make the finite verb of the subordinate clause uh, an infinitive. Infinitive is also a non-finite verb. When you have changed the finite verb into a non-finite one, you have lessened a clause in the sentence and thus it has become a simple sentence. 
let us see the face of the simple sentence of this complex one. He came here as I told you in lieu of so that you will use simply to and since the subjects are of both of the clauses is the single one, he we will simply make the finite verb of the subordinate clause a, a an infinitive one. He came here to win the bait. But when you get different subjects for different clauses with the complex sentence in the same structure, you need to make the uh, uh, subject of the subordinate clause a uh, uh, sorry an object uh, of the uh, finite verb of the main clause. That is you will have to for this complex sentence to make this complex sentence simple you need to change the subject of the subordinate clause they and making it the object of the finite verb of the main clause. So, what will be the simple sentence of the uh, uh, example two complex sentence? I give them that is you have made, made the object form of the uh, subject of the subordinate clause and added that object with the finite verb of the uh, complex sentence uh, of the uh, main clause sorry finite verb of the main clause. I give them books in lieu of so that we will use to and the finite verb of the subordinate clause read will be made infinitive. I give them books to read. So, when you have two different subjects for two clauses, you need to uh, make the uh, uh, object form of the subject of the subordinate clause and add the new object with the uh, uh, to the uh, finite verb of the main clause. Well, time is running very short. We have four more minutes for this class. So, I will give, I will not uh, uh, introduce any new structure in this class, I will change two more sentences of the same structure uh, and thus I will end this class. Look at example 3 of the complex sentence with the similar structure. He uh, warned me So that I was C A L M cup. He warned me so that I was cup. Now we have the relative conjunction so that connecting or combining two clauses. The subordinate clause of this sentence is I was come and we will change this simple this sentence into simple one in this way keeping the main clause unchanged he warned me to in lieu of so we have used to and since we have the object of the subordinate clause already in the complex sentence me is that object in that case we do not need to use 
any new object for such a sentence. He warned me as uh, the uh, uh, object of the uh, 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 the object of the subject of the, uh, the subordinate clause is already there in the main clause. We do not need to use the uh, object of the subject of the final uh, uh, subordinate clause again. He, he warned me to uh, uh, the infinitive form of all uh, B finite verbs are B is B. There is single uh, infinitive verb for all B verbs that is B. He want me to be C A L M cup. He want me to be come. Uh, let us see the last example of this structure. We requested them uh, we requested so that he might come. Let us this is the complex sentence and the simple one is like this one keeping the main clause unchanged we requested we have two different subjects for two clauses so we will write the object of the subordinate uh, the object of the subject of subordinate clause with the finite of the main clause we requested him him is the possessive uh, object sorry not possessive possessive is, is him is the object of the pronoun he we requested him to come and that's all we have one more type of complex sentences which I hope to discuss uh, in the next class. I will take my next class with you on the 14th of this month. Till then, thank you for the office and keep well, stay safe.